everyone, it's Wendy from St. Mark's. Welcome to all you world travelers. We are going on a great new adventure. We're gonna go around the world, traveling to new places every Sunday in this series. And I'm really excited that you're gonna be along for the ride with me. It's really cool we've got this opportunity because it's a little bit hard to travel nowadays, but I've got this opportunity through this new app and it's called GeoQ. So when we get ready to go, we tell the app and the app then sends us on our journey, but we don't know actually what country where we're gonna get dropped. So we have to figure it out with some clues that the app is gonna give us once we get there. So I hope you are there, there and able to help me guess which country we land in and help me find the souvenir for each country. So since we don't know where we're going every time we get on the plane with the app, with GeoQ, we have to look for the clues and we have to be prepared for just about anything. So I have my backpack, I have my lucky hat, and we have our app. So we are ready to go. So before we go on a long trip, we've got to have some tunes queued up. So let's start off, let's get some tunes going and we'll get ready to go. amazing. Wasn't that a great song? I think after that, I'm kind of pumped and I'm ready to go. Oh, final boarding call boarding for flight nine. Let's go. Again, get your backpacks. This is the get final your boarding hat, call for flight Let's go on that plane and find out where we're going. This is really beautiful. Have you ever seen anything quite like this before? I haven't, it's gorgeous, but I don't know where I am. I probably could wander around aimlessly for a little while, but I don't think that would be fun. I think I'd like to know where I am. So why don't we have a look at the app and see what's there. Uh, so what I'm gonna, I'm gonna share my screen on the app so you guys can help me guess and we'll see what the clues are so that we can figure out where we are. 
Uh, let me see. Okay, so there we share the team. Okay, great. So you can see it now. Okay, so our first clue tells us that this country that we are in has won the World Cup five times. Does anyone know what sport it is that plays for the World Cup? I... It's not hockey. That's the Stanley Cup. And it's not football. That's the Super Bowl. It's soccer. Absolutely, you've got it right. It's soccer. They play for the World Cup. So this country must be really, really good at soccer. So I know there's a lot of countries around the world that are good at soccer. Italy's really good, and Germany, and Brazil. Those are all really good. Okay, so we're narrowing it down a little bit, but that's still kind of a broad range. Let's see what the next clue says. Oh, the second one says that the Amazon rainforest is found in this country. Okay, so I know that the Amazon spans like nine different countries, so that kind of narrows it down a little bit too. And that it's in South America, so we know, it, we know it's not Italy or Germany, so that's narrowing it down. Okay, so what else is another clue here? Okay, this country has a 98 foot tall statue of Jesus. Well, I think that can only be one place, right? Because that statue is in what country? Yell it out if you know. That's right, it's in Brazil. We're in Brazil. That is awesome. Let me put it into the app and we'll see if we're right. Hey there, GeoQuesters, the bestest of the Questus. I'm Juan Duran, and I'm here to confirm where you've wandered off to. You are, in fact, in Brazil. You guessed it, or maybe you just got lucky and stumbled into a rainforest. Either way, you are here. Welcome, and bem-vinda, as they would say here in Portuguese. That's the official language of Brazil. Ah, oh, Brazil. Can you smell it? The rain is in the air. Oh, you didn't bring your umbrella. Don't you worry, we've got you covered. Covered with fun facts, it is. Check it out. Did you know that 60% of the Amazon rainforest is here in Brazil? Yeah, that's right, more than half. There are also around 2,500 airports here. Talk about a lot of rain delays. Um, yes, all flights have been delayed until further notice. Well, when folks aren't flying up in the rainy skies, they're probably on the ground running around shouting, Go! Soccer, or football as they call it here, is the most popular sport in Brazil. Their national team is top of the tops, one of the best in the world, having won the World Cup five times. That's right, five times. That's like one, two, three, four, five. That's like one per finger. That is a lot of wins. Whoa, sounds like the rain is back in the forecast. I hope those footballers have an indoor field. The rain shouldn't be surprising though. It rains so much here, I guess that's where they got the idea to call their forest a rainforest. It's funny. Brazil can get up to 80 inches of rain each year. 80 inches, that stacks as high as LeBron James. Oh, you're probably wondering why you're here in Brazil and what souvenir you should be looking for. Great question, and the answer will be found at coordinates 23 degrees, 32, 1.6 south northwest south north. Uh, you know what, come think of it, I may not be the best at coordinates, but no worries though, because they're already uploaded onto your GOQ dashboard. Need more than just some numbers and letters? Fear not, you know me, I'm Juan, your best questy for life. So here are a few hints. What you're looking for sounds like the rainforest. You could make it yourself with a tree and some beans, and once you find it, you could join a band. Now those coordinates have been uploaded into GeoQ. Make sure you check back once you found the souvenir. That's great, we got the country right, and now we get to look for the souvenir. I love souvenirs because they help me remember the places that I visited and kind of the things that have been around. So now we have to start our search though, so I'm gonna need you guys to help me. So do you remember the clues? They were, it sounds like the rainforest, and you can make that sound yourself with a tree and some beans? 
I don't know quite what that is, but let's see where we think it could be. Let me look on my phone. Well, according to the coordinates that Juan gave, we're kind of close. So let's just keep looking and see if there's an instrument that makes the sound of the rainforest. What are some of the sounds that you could hear in a rainforest? Well, yeah, you could have birds and probably bugs. Ugh. And maybe tree frogs. I like tree frogs. That, that all sounds like a good idea. But I'm thinking like the most common thing you hear in the rainforest might be the rain. So why don't we see if we can find an instrument that sounds like the rain. Oh, hang on. Look at this. Check it out. Have you seen one of these before? It's a rain stick. This is great. And I bet you if I tip it. Yeah, it sounds like it's raining. What a cool souvenir. This is great. I think this is what we were meant to find. I'm going to put it in the app and see if we were right. Oh yeah, you found it. Oh yeah, you found it. You found the rain stick. Way to go, questionators. Oh, listen to that. Music to my ears. I mean, nothing really says I took a trip to the rainforest like a rain stick. Better souvenir than a tree shirt. Am I right? Tree shirt? You know, just the idea of thousands of drops of water just randomly falling from the sky makes me ask the question, who's in charge of all this? The rain, the trees, the sky? When you really start to think about all the awesome things in this great big world, there has to be someone behind it all. Well, spoiler alert, there is. <laughs> yep, real talk, and I'm about to name drop right here. You ready for this? God, the main man with the mana, the OG of the OT, the creator of creation. And as you get to know more, you find out there are so many names for him in the Bible. But you know, what really is in a name? Well, pretty much everything, because everybody's name helps us know more about them, including who God is. One of the names of God is Lord. Yeah, Lord. Take that in for a minute. That means he is all powerful and in control of everything in this world including each of us. Talk about being large and in charge. <laughs> we know God is in control because he made it all, just by speaking it into existence. But back then, there were no shopping centers to buy glue sticks or pipe cleaners or glitter. Nope. God made everything on his own and he did it without any supplies. Zero, zilch, nada. That's right. There was no universe, no sun or moon before time began. There was just big, empty space. Hello? Anybody out there? But God didn't want to just leave it like this, so he got to work. God said, let there be light. And as soon as he did, light appeared, separating the day from the night. You'd think that this would be his brightest idea, but God was just getting warmed up. Now it was time for the good stuff. God then made the sky in all the colors we see. Well, even chartreuse. The land and ocean came next. We've got mountains, streams, islands, and the, the rainforest. God didn't stop there though. No way, Jose. Next came all sorts of different plants like banana trees and orchids and then animals like the great white shark and the monkey. Haven't you always wanted a monkey? It's a monkey. And for the grand finale, um, drum roll please. Created in God's own image, God created us, humans. God started with one man named Adam and then he created a woman named Eve. Then he told them to take care of every living thing. It was a pretty busy week for God, but when he had finished creating everything, he thought it was all good. And so he rested. <gasps> huh, I guess I would have done the same thing. 
I wanted you to locate the rain stick as a reminder that God created everything, that he is in total control and is Lord over all, because God is my Lord. Well, that's all we have for you here in Brazil, but don't you worry, we aren't resting from no question anytime soon. So I'll see you all next time. That was incredible. So our time in Brazil has really taught me so much about who God is. And now with this rain stick, I'm going, it's going to help me always to remember that God is my Lord. And because every time I hear the rain and I remember that God created the rainforest and he's in complete control. And that's amazing for me. He's complete control of my life and I know he loves me and he's going to look after me. So that means there's a lot less for me to worry about. So hang on, let's get quiet and let's listen to the rain stick and have it remind us of what it's really like. Oh, that's a really cool sound. So the next time you hear the rain falling from the sky, remember that God is in control. He created everything and he is Lord and he loves you. So we're gonna remember that by a little action that goes, God is my Lord and he's in control. So that means it's a lot easier for us to kind of get on with life and not worry so much. So now I gotta figure out what is next because I've told GeoQ that I'm ready for my next trip, but I'm not sure where I'm going. Let me see if there's a hint on it. Let me... Okay, well that's a little bit different. The only clue that I got is that the population of this next country is about 5% humans and the rest are all animals. I didn't even know there was a country like that. So this could be really strange. Well, in the meantime, let's uh, have another song. Why don't we we'll get our tunes queued up and get ready to travel? Great. That was awesome. I hope you guys have had as much fun as that as I have had on this travel and get ready for our next adventure. But before we do, before we go, let's just take a moment and bow our heads and pray together. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, thank you for showing us more about who you are. 
We are so thankful that you are our Lord. Thank you for loving us and being in total control of our lives. Help us to remember that we can talk to you about everything because there is nothing too hard for you. We love you. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That was great. We'll see you all next week for our next adventure where we try to figure out what country has 5% humans and the rest are all animals? <laughs>